Gemini, your extended will be on YouTube members. Link is in the description box below. Messages for Gemini. for Gemini like a plan we have the Empress coming out reversed here Empress was coming out upright in Taurus's reading but she ended up becoming a, a not in nine of wands energy since when like since when is an Empress in the battlefield that's why I'm getting Aries but I would you know if you're new here my readings all um, tie in together they all flow so Aries influence Taurus Taurus influences your reading Gemini all right, so uh, the Empress is reversed. That's a red flag. <laughs> oh, that's a red flag there. Okay, something is not growing. Something's not abundant. I feel like someone feels depleted. Uh, something, someone, okay, whether this is you, them, you don't really feel... Leo energy, that might be a little dramatic for me to say. But I guess this is true for a lot of you. You just, you know, you don't really feel like worthy. You don't really feel like you have a purpose. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles. So. Someone doesn't really have you feeling <clears throat> too good about yourself here. We have the Six of Swords, okay. Six of Swords to me is kind of like, I don't know why I'm getting like daydream energy, like kind of just like spacing out. I don't know if some of you guys are like spacing out. You know, like spacing out, staring at the wall, staring into the distance, but like not really focus on anything in particular. It's kind of what I'm getting from the Six of Swords. Your mind may be cloudy as well. I do see crows here, so you could be getting downloads as well. That could be why you're spacing out. I don't really feel like you're in the present moment. You do have the Nine of Swords trying to come out. <clears throat> this could be someone else thinking this way about you, honestly, Gemini. We have the Queen of Cups here. Cancerian energy. I kind of feel like this is someone else thinking about you. So you may have Aries and Taurus placements, Gemini, but this is how someone, I feel like I'm actually picking up on Crosswatcher energy right now. Like somebody is spacing out when it comes to you. Uh, tell me more. Yeah, I feel stuck. We have the Eight of Pentacles, which is interesting. The Eight of Pentacles was coming out in an Aries reading. And basically, this was someone who was, um, it, it was clarified with the, I think, yeah, the hangman. So to me, that was just kind of like, you know, someone who, was like working but it's like they're trying to like forget about you or trying to like like not focus on you but it's like they're working they're doing things and it's like you are evading someone's thoughts they're like spacing out i'm telling you in taurus's reading the empress was coming out with the lovers reverse and then the nine of wands like wh what it's like it's like someone, like I was saying in Aries reading, it's like someone left you to pretty much fend for yourself. Like they kind of made you, or this is how someone's feeling. Like, damn, I feel like some of you may have told somebody about themselves 
um you know you just put it all out there on the table about themselves right and Taurus reading I was getting someone trying to brush things under the rug or just trying to keep it pushing like you know not even like not that they don't care but it's like they didn't want to really focus or internalize what the hell was going on like they didn't want to be present they didn't want to be present in their emotions or what was happening. They were just trying to like work, you know, people who use work as a distraction. But I don't really feel like that's what's happening here. I feel like somebody is realizing like or thinking or spacing out. Uh, yeah, Three of Swords. I'm telling you, this Three of Swords is coming out in Aries reading and Taurus is reading. Six of Pentacles is reverse. I'm confused with this Three of Swords reverse here. I am actually. What is it? Why is that here? Why is that here? King of Wands is reversed, which is crazy because the King of Wands was clarifying the Three of Swords in Taurus's reading. That was why somebody was hurt. That's why you were hurt, whatever. But I don't know why it's reversed. I don't know if this is someone trying to like... Uh, I, I don't want to say someone trying to deny that they hurt you. But there are crows here with the Six of Swords. Someone's already spacing out. So this may be the message someone is getting, a download. I, it's a, I don't get why that would be reversed here. Eight of Wands. So yeah, these are downloads. These are messages coming in. There's more birds. You see what I'm saying? still confused oh that is so weird I, it just doesn't make any sense to me it just feels like I, I guess someone's trying to ignore it this is interesting because it doesn't make sense It doesn't make sense because these should be upright, okay? Um, they should be upright because this is how someone, this is how you're feeling. It, I mean, that was what was was coming out in Aries and Taurus's reading. This is why somebody was hurting. But now I'm getting into Gemini. You're reading. This is the thoughts. This is what someone's thinking. This is what was communicated. All right, this is what's going on. And for some reason, it feels like, you know, with these reversed, even though they were upright in the other two readings, it's like someone is like, Denying it, avoiding it. It doesn't make sense. We do have Cancerian energy. What is the uh, queen? I might do another spread. I like, <laughs> yo, yo, somebody has to be hard headed. Like, this has to be what it is. It's like, you ever, I'm sure, you've been with someone before. This could even be what's going on in your situation. But it's like you keep telling somebody something and it just won't get through their head. Like something just will not get into, like they just, for some reason, it's just not clicking. It's not clicking. It's not clicking. That's what this feels like. It's like something's not clicking for someone. Like they didn't get it. 
And so that kind of leads into a lot of relationships where things just keep going around and around and around in circles. Things keep like someone keeps doing the same shit over and over and over again because it's like you're telling them this hurts me or I don't like this or we need to work on this or whatever the case is. And it like for some reason, it's not getting through their fucking head. Because I'm telling you, this doesn't make any sense to me. Energetically, it doesn't make any sense. Like, it doesn't make sense. I can't even emphasize this enough. And it's, I guess I'm getting frustrated because it's like something doesn't make sense. It's, somebody's hard-headed. Somebody is extremely hard-headed. But it also could be what was going on in Taurus's reading. I titled the reading, they were resistant and now they regret not being persistent. Like this is someone who may have been resisting a relationship. It's like someone not wanting to see or hear the truth of the matter, of the situation, of who you are. These birds, these are like, to me, that's like intuition. That's connected to the intuition to me. So this is someone who, I guess it's like ignoring their intuition or ignoring it. Like they're just, you, you know, you, it's, it's a very hard headed energy. You, you keep telling somebody like stop and they, they on go. Like they just, they don't fucking get it. Wow. <laughs> oh, they don't get it. Now the Empress is, I mean, the Empress is reversed again. Here's the Nine of Wands. I'm telling you, these cards were coming out before. Fools here. We have the King of Swords reverse. The King of Swords is coming out reverse. I think a Taurus is reading as well. So all I keep mentioning Taurus because it's like this is where this resistance is coming from. Like someone's not getting it. Wow. And I don't know, me wanting to do a new spread could just be indicating, you know, why someone left or walked away in Taurus's reading and why somebody was hurt in Aries reading. Like someone's not getting it. Yo, somebody, I'm 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 really trying. Who is like Here's that damn stampede that was coming out of Aries. Like, huh? I'm hearing Aquarius for some reason, but that's crazy to me because Aquarius is understand. They may not go along with, you know, shit. They may rebel, but I guess someone has Aquarius placements. It's just, it's not that they don't understand. They just don't want to. I, it's, I am, I'm hearing Aquarius. Yeah, here's the Knight of Swords, Gemini. Here you are. Devil's reverse. The devil is coming out in Taurus's reading with the King of Wands reverse and the moon reversed. Now the devil's coming out reverse. So I dare I say this is somebody's finally getting it. Or some, it's, it's clicking now. We have the Empress coming out reverse. Again, it's falling on top of the Knight of Swords. So there's communication here about this Empress that was already coming out reverse in the first spread. She was coming, yeah, uh, so maybe somebody's getting it now. We have the King of Cups reverse. And now we have the Knight of Cups reverse. Knight of Cups was coming out, uh, Knight of Cups is actually coming out in Taurus's reading upright with Temperance, with the Seven of Pentacles, with the Ace of Cups. And I was saying how this may be someone who wants to come in and do what they said they were gonna do the first time, but didn't do, it hurt you, you left, and now they wanna fix it. Now they wanna do what they said they were gonna do initially. But I don't know how many times, okay? We have Saturn here, so it had to have been a few times. Um, here we have the Ace of Wands. This Ace of Wands is coming out reverse in Taurus's reading as well. So you may be dealing with a Taurus, they have Taurus placements, or this is someone who is stubborn as hell. 